Thank you very much, Dave. That was a wonderful introduction, but it was totally unnecessary because I have a state-of-the-art introduction system. I have spent a great deal of money on. This is technologically perfect. I'm going to show you how it works. Here we go. Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm Tim. And I'm living proof that if you're going to join a garage band, don't leave the freaking car running. <laughs> Look at me. I'm taking a lot of drugs. Today. Think I better quit, though. Think I'm allergic. Keep breaking out in handcuffs. <laughs> Ever have a hangover so bad you wake up in the morning, clear your throat just a bit too hard and shit the bed? Yeah? Do what I do, buy brown sheets. <laughs> oh, you save on dry cleaning. Pretty sure I'm allergic to alcohol too. I keep breaking out in spots. San Diego, Halifax, <laughs> Vancouver, Noosa Repta. <laughs> That's just fun to say. On the count of three, everybody say it just like I did. Noosa Repta, okay. One, two, three. Noosa <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna quit drinking altogether. I'm missing way too many special occasions. Like 1985. <laughs> through 91. Uh, it's all... Uh, oh, man. Yeah. Drugs and alcohol. Not the only problem, folks. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I had problems with multiple personality disorder when I was a kid. Schizophrenia. I'm not too sure if I still have that problem. I may. Yes, you do. No, you don't. Shut up, both of you. Shit, I hate that. By the way, a lot of these you won't get until you're on your way home, folks. <laughs> I, I can see a lot of you now. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> well, why the hell am I doing this? I'm walking. <laughs> Drugs, alcohol, multiple personality disorder. My dad wanted me to know that I had this problem with multiple personality disorder. He didn't want my feelings to be hurt in any way, shape, or form, though. So he was kind. He was gentle. He did things like, hey, come here. <laughs> what the hell, all of you? Come on. <laughs> Actually, I'm proud to say I've been clean and sober 21 years. But it's a... F <laughs> oh, no, I just can't find any. <laughs> No, actually, I have been, I have been clean and sober. And, 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 and you know, I, I got to tell you, though, oh, my drug of choice? Well, actually, I had several choices. More and other people's. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh, I was so paranoid when I quit. I joined those 12-step groups. And they're very spiritual. And there's a lot of praying. And I was so paranoid. Oh, you should have heard me. Our Father, who art in heaven, how do you know my name? <laughs> and alcohol, multiple personalities. Everything's been affected. Let's start with my appearance. There's a good place to start. Before the drugs, I had two eyebrows. What the hell is this? <laughs> oh, you think this is bad? My brother did twice as many drugs as me. His goes all the way around his head. <laughs> and he's got this great big pot belly. He's totally bald, and he's going got that all the way. He looks like a great big bowling pin, I swear to God. <laughs> And before the drugs, I didn't have this. Look, I'm growing a freaking turtleneck. Can you see that? <laughs> Pretty soon, I'm just going to cut a V in it and have a hair shirt. <laughs> Maybe cut out a little guy playing polo on my tit. <laughs> or a little alligator. <laughs> or a guy playing polo on an alligator on my tit. <laughs> or a guy playing polo on an alligator on my tit screwing a penguin. Or a guy playing polo on an alligator on my tit, screwed a penguin chasing a fox who's playing tennis. How many other things are there embroidered on those really <laughs> shitty shirts? Is that it? Okay. My appearance. Actually, a lot of people have been making suggestions about combinations of things that I look like. Genetic splicings, if you will. And I'm going to tell you those suggestions. And by your laughter and applause, we'll be able to tell which one I look the most like. And I'm going to use my arm as a meteor. <laughs> OK, number one, a very skinny Hulk Hogan genetically spliced with Michael Bolton. <laughs> <laughs> not, not bad, OK. 
Fred Penner on mushrooms. <laughs> okay, that, that, that's not too bad. Okay, okay. <laughs> Mick Fleetwood genetically spliced with Bert from Sesame Street. <laughs> Sean Connery after a crystal meth run. <laughs> well, I thank you very much. Oh, Kim Mitchell genetically spliced with Charles Manson. Okay, and okay, number six. Last but not least, <laughs> a Hutterite aerobics instructor. <laughs> Maybe. Can you imagine that? And five more, and four more, and three more. Come on, roll those bales. <laughs> we got lots of eggs. Oh look, there's my sister, wife, cousin, mother. <laughs> the way I look at Canada is all twisted too, folks. I gotta tell you that right now. Oh, is it ever. Dear crossing signs, we all see them. We have all traveled across Canada and I bet every one of you people think all those signs look the same. Not so for me. I am so twisted. Here's what I mean. You're in BC, strong looking deer on the sign. Huh? Get into Alberta, tough looking deer on the sign. Get into Saskatchewan, rugged looking deer on that sign. Into Manitoba, muscular looking deer on that sign. Into Ontario. <laughs> These are antlers. <laughs> Let me cross. Anybody here from Newfoundland? Right yeah? You guys are fat. I love you people as much as I love people from Saskatchewan, I do. You know why? Because you would rather party than fight. I'm in a house party here in Edmonton. There's two Newfies in the kitchen talking, and what they said convinced me that Newfies would rather party than fight. It was so cool. My dear, my dear, my dear, they're gonna close the mill, that's right. <laughs> my dear, my dear, they're gonna close the mill, doesn't matter where you're from, Harbor Grace, Carbonary, which is up, which is down tomorrow morning. We'll have to breakfast, we'll get her, have to have the eggs. It's gonna be a wonderful time. We ain't gonna have a job, that's right, because they're closing the mill, too. That's right. That's right, we're gonna be dancing. That's right, it doesn't matter if we don't have the jobs. <laughs> we can afford to buy the breakfast. Doesn't matter, no job, because in a week and a half, two weeks, we'll be dancing. That's right, dancing. Dancing, dancing, dancing. We'll be dancing. We'll be doing the U, I, C, Samba. Oh, uh, no, 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 yes, yes. So, no, 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 yes, yes. No, 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 yes, yes. So, no, 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 yes, yes. Yes, yes, no, no, yes, no. Oh, no, 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 yes, yes. Yes, no, 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 yes, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Were you entirely able and ready for work each day? Freakity! Where are my friends from Newfoundland? Hey. Are there any people here from the West Indies at all? Whereabouts, my friend? Oh, fantastic. You know what? Some of the finest people in the world, Trinidad, Jamaica, from islands. Newfoundlanders, from islands. You know what I would love to see? A genetic splicing of a Newfie with a Jamaican. <laughs> oh, Lord Tundra and Jesus Christ, man. Is the boy that builds the boat. <laughs> I raise the boy that sail her. I raise the boy that catches the fish, bring them home to lies of a great big freaking barbecue in the backyard, that's right. 